Hey there Stampin' Friends, Randy from Stampin' with Randy. Just thought I'd come over and show you guys a little bit about what I got for my first catalog order for the new catalog um, in 2020, 2021. This catalog started in June, so it's fairly new. Um, there's lots of exciting things in here. If you need a copy of the catalog and don't already have a demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. Go ahead and leave a comment or shoot me an email and I'd be happy to help you out and hook you up with a catalog. Let's see what I got today. So every year, one of the most exciting things about the new catalog is finding out what the new in colors are. So of course I had to get the new in color stamp pads. There's just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider, Magenta Madness, and Bumblebee. I just love this Magenta Madness. I have a feeling that's gonna be one of my newest favorite colors. Um, but really, all the colors work so well together. They're great colors for summer. I've seen some really great things, um, thinking of fall and winter with these colors, so I'm pretty excited about working with them. I also got a few packs of the In Color cardstock, but I like to get the pack that has all of the colors in it just because I never know which ones I'm gonna to gravitate towards more. So I'll buy a couple of the um, packages where the, they're all in there, the like sample pack maybe, um, and see which colors I gravitate towards most, and then I'll buy full packs of those colors. So I got a few packages of those. Then um, I could not resist the cute fruit stamp set. I mean, how cute is that? A pineapple, the smiley faces, the mustache. So I got that stamp set. Um, I've seen great ideas online for it. There's great ideas in our beginner brochure as well. Um, so I can't wait to get stamping with that one. I also got the Zany Zebras. They are so cute. Uh, I've seen them colored in different ways. Um, lots of cute ideas with those, so I'm excited about that. I also got the Hand Drawn Blooms Bundle. So this one comes with a great, super detailed stamp that would be fun to color or fun to stamp in a solid shape. And then let me just show you this um, die, if I can figure out how to get it open here. So what's nice about this die is that it kind of has a banner already built into it. So when it cuts, this will be left as solid cardstock, and it fits these greetings perfectly. I've also seen people who have cut this apart um, so that they just have the banner part separate from the flower and layered it up a little bit, and that's really cute too, so I'm excited to get stamping with those. In the catalog, that stamp set is featured with the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper, and let me just open this up and show you a few pieces from it because I love the bright colors. I love that on one side it's patterned and on the other side it's kind of um, like ombre-ish look. So we've got some cool, fun patterns. Bright colors, great for summer, great for birthdays. Thank yous, lots of good stuff there. And then how could I resist the rainbow glimmer paper. I mean, really. I'm gonna get it open here for you. So you get two sheets of this fabulous paper that I don't know if you can tell, the sparkle on that is awesome. It's not super heavy like a cardstock, but it's thicker than normal paper. It is a full rainbow kind of look there. Oh, so many fun ideas with that one. Can't wait to play with that. And then of course I got the markers that go with the new in colors. And I got some of the Artistry Blooms adhesive backed sequins. These are going to go really well with that set and also the papers that go with it. So let me just open these up so you can get a look at some of them here. pink and a yellow, a blue, and an orange.
orange color. Super cute. Love the iridescent on those as well. And then I just got some staples that I always try to keep on hand, our Stampin' Dimensionals. And then this is our brand new Stampin' Seal. So we no longer have the old style snail. We have Stampin' Seal and Stampin' Seal Plus. Stampin' Seal is your run of the mill adhesive for making cards and things like that. Little bit bigger in comparison to our old cartridges. They were about this size. This isn't Stampin' Up, but they were about this size. So it is a little bit bigger. Um, and then this one, the cap comes off all the way so you don't have the little trapdoor flapping at you. But it works the same way as our snail did. So what's nice about this is that we also have Stamp and Seal Plus, which is good for those 3D items. Or if you're sending a card in the mail and you're worried about the humidity and the heat like we've got here in Minnesota, Stamp and Seal Plus would be your best bet for making sure that your card's not going to fall apart when it's traveling through the mail. This will still work. But if you're a little bit worried about it, or maybe you've got a bulkier card or some thicker layers you've got going on, you may want to use a Stampin' Seal Plus. But that's what I got this time around. I had a hard, hard time narrowing it down. I couldn't just get everything at once. I had to save some fun for later. So um, I'm happy with what I've got, and I'm excited to share some of my creations with you. Again, if you need a catalog, please let me know. If you'd like to place an order with me, I'd be happy with that as well. You can go to stampinwithrandy.stampinup.net and place an order there in my online store. Have a great day and happy stamping.